hello guys how are you all doing today i am here to show you something that oh, might look weird for some but right behind me is actually a house like a full house like i can tell you it has a kitchen the side for a bed like literally everything is inside this house i know for some of you this is like um i don't know this is like I don't know which word to use but you have never seen a very tiny house like this and yeah today i'm going to show you this and it's found right inside my village it's not exactly home but yeah i just decided to share this with you guys so welcome back to the channel in case it's your first time my name is eunice and i hope you subscribe right after this video because if you don't you'll miss a lot <laughs> turn on your notification bells as well so guys as you can see straight um it's a grass stretched house you can see grasses and this is like a the, like the most common material like it's free um you don't need to buy this supplied by nature uh literally everything on it is just i could say cost friendly because um there are no like expensive things for you to put up such a structure and this particular structure is owned by a lady yeah, unfortunately um i'm not going to show her face <laughs> but so guys uh, this is first of all how they close the door so you put this just to ensure that Okay, it holds the door like a bit firm so that maybe in case the owner is not home uh wild animals or whatever cannot enter in so guys let's just open this enter right inside and i can tell you the creativity here is just on another level so this is part of the door already and then there's another door inside here guys Okay, she made this with a mosquito net. <laughs> you'll not expect that. Like you'll not really believe it, but this is a mosquito net. Yeah. And then there's another set of security right here, guys. So I think you notice she puts this here so that it will like hold the net firm. Yeah, so you can open this, put it aside. Then you open this maybe and you know, tool to the side. And guess what? Right here is where we are. Oh, uh, I don't know if you're able to see in here it's uh, a bit dark and the worst part Eunice is dark like literally we are black <laughs> so guys I think we'll start off right from here I think you notice here there's firewood like I told you this house has everything firewood right here there is more excess firewood up above the, the charcoal stove I mean the cooking stove the firewood uh, stove so this is like a spare so that as she's using this one here as she's using this one here um by the time maybe this one gets done in case this stock was maybe somehow wet by the time she stocked it it will be drying up with the heat that comes from the from the fireplace here so by the time this stock here gets done she this one up will be ready for use guys and i can tell you it's something that is um very very wise of us as the actually people there's also more firewood here so literally anytime there's enough firewood for cooking so apparently this is like the side for the kitchen yeah and then right here as well she actually puts the utensils so cups cooking plates what everything here and i'm also seeing some mangoes right here yeah because it's almost off season so it's hard to get ripe mangoes i think you notice these ones are a bit green yeah and then also right here is like um okay this person right here is a farmer so she she keeps some of her farm produces right here like you can see in this sock yeah and these are the things that she uses in the garden for harvesting for whatever any, anything in the garden that requires such kind she uses that yeah and then right on the side is actually where um she sleeps this right here is a mat is a papyrus um like it's made out of papyrus i don't know if you've ever seen this in case you have never let me know in the comment section because i think i'll go ahead and show you maybe how it's made but definitely in another video that's if you request for it so in case you want to know that just let me know in the comment section guys so she puts this papyrus mat here down right here and she actually sleeps right here where i'm standing <laughs> And I think you notice there's some jerrycans here. There are these small jerrycans here. These ones are just for fetching water in case maybe she wants to get water from the well for drinking, for cooking, for taking a bath, anything. The jerrycans are right here. And here are some of the clothes. She actually packs off some of the clothes down beneath this thing right here. This is where some clothes are. Yeah. And also um, up here, she also puts some clothes up here. So it's like a, a two-way storage, if I could say. Yeah, and also right inside here is like more storage space for her. So 
she has really utilized this house so i don't know in the very maximum way anyone could ever think because trust me when you see this house from out you will not even expect maybe someone to to even just stand here inside and i can tell you the heat inside here you know it, it had rained eh? I was actually wearing a jacket, but the heat inside here is already something else. More so, there is a fireplace right here. So, oh, I can tell you. So, she cooks actually right here. And I think I'm just going to help her uh, fix the fire. She left the food on fire. Yeah, let me just fix that. You all want to see the food? <laughs> all right, so it's maize. <laughs> yeah she's a farmer i told you so she has a lot of these um fresh things from the garden and she's just boiling her maize right here yeah so that's it she'll just come back and everything is set like she wouldn't have to again start stressing maybe to boil her maize or something and then right here is where she puts her sandals and, and her broom also right here and this right here <laughs> security <laughs> in case anything starts in the middle of the night <laughs> you have this <laughs> to sort you out guys so i think i can tell you if you step inside the house you could make like one step and you're in the middle of the house and probably the next step and you're at the extreme end of the wall yeah but she has really managed it and i know most of you would probably not <laughs> expect this yeah yeah but this is just it might be some strange thing for you but yeah life decides like life the side of the world sometimes it's like this yeah. you want to see how it looks like behind come on so i think you notice it's actually all cleared so that in case of wild animals yeah they probably don't okay wild animals i mean snakes let me be straight <laughs> they don't like crawl maybe straight you know there's always we for us we believe that snakes are not so good on this kind of a ground they're only good on the grasses so near the houses we ensure that we clear and there's no grass and that's the reason for this and of course right here some bananas for her and of course some fruits as well those are jackfruits so it's just like a full package in one small tiny house yeah it's a whole home in one tiny place i can tell you <laughs> so i think that is just basically how everything looks right here yeah so let me know if you have ever seen any house smaller than this i think for me this is like um the smallest house i have ever seen um, let me know if you've ever seen any and where did you see that and you know what I'm just going to cover this straight oh right here there we go <laughs> and then of course right here and we are good to go guys let me know if you've liked the video give the video a like and ensure that you share this video and also subscribe to me